Let me lift this up. Y'all forgive me, I'm over here trying to get this thing set up. And I got this tripod all up in the air. Y'all forgive me right quick, all right? So I got this tripod all up in the air. Let me show y'all what I got going on real quick. Hold on, y'all. Bear with me. Bear with me. Come on now. Don't, don't, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Just hold on. We're gonna hurry up and get this on, get this going. Okay. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all something right now. Y'all, I'm hold on. I'm gonna put my sound in real quick because I want y'all to hear me clearly when I do this. And I'm gonna make this quick. Y'all seen the title, man. This is a cooking live video. I haven't did one in a minute. And see if I can read the comments. Okay. All right. So y'all bear with me now. Just hold on. Now, can y'all hear me good? Aaron, I see you. Strawberry, I see you. DJ, I see you. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Okay, now, I'm going to share something with y'all real quick. Let me, um, let me grab me some gloves so don't y'all go nowhere. And I know this is a late cook, so it's going to be all right. Y'all, it's going to be all right. So I'm going to speed this process up real quick. I know some people got to go to work. I know y'all be like, how in the world he cooking this thing, cooking at this late time? All right, so look, this is what we got going on real quick, y'all. As y'all read the title, we're going to do some fried shrimp fried cabbage okay and i want to show y'all exactly what i'm cooking with because i'm just going to go ahead on and keep this thing moving so right here if you can see this let me show y'all real quick let me show you all right so this some bacon thick cut bacon along with some smoked sausage that i went and used up so i didn't use all my smoked sausage because for one i'm only cooking for a couple of people all right, so I got some bacon here, thick cut bacon, some smoked sausages, and I do have some large shrimp, okay? We got some large shrimp, and I only used a half a head of cabbage, okay? And I also used some tricolored um, sweet peppers. So we got red, yellow, and orange peppers in here, okay? And this is what I got set up here. So this right here is my cabbage. Now, is the can y'all see as far as it goes with the um the lighting? Is the lighting okay? Because if not, let me try something real quick. Hold on, y'all, because we we're gonna get this thing moving. We're gonna get it moving. Let me see if I can get this lighting right. This lighting might not be all together. All right, so maybe this might help out a little bit. All right, maybe this might be up. Okay. So this is the half a cabbage. And thank you, Nick. And Nick can say it's good. All right. So this is what I got right here. And let me see if you could see this. Let me try to pan it. Let me just lower it down a little bit. All right. So right here, I got some sausage that I cut up, which I didn't cut the whole thing up because there's the other pieces to the sausages you know what I'm saying so I got some bacon these are like four strips of bacon that I went and pretty much um, diced up just pretty much chopped them and then these are 12 shrimps 12 large shrimps I went and cleaned and deveined all right 
So that's what we got right here. Now in this right here pan, I got a half an onion, and then I have the tricolored um, sweet peppers. I only took a section off of each one, and I sliced them up in strips, okay? That's what I did with this. Now, as far as this go with the spices, I'm gonna break them down to you so y'all can understand what I'm what I'm using here, okay? So the first thing that I did use, um, and I have it right over here, is some salt. That's number one. The next thing I used was some of this here Obey hot seasoning, all right? And the next one I used was some of this here onion powder. And I also used some garlic powder. And I came, came also over the top with some paprika. Along with that paprika, we got some Cajun seasoning. And we also have some parsley just to color things up just a little bit, all right? Share this live with, with your family and friends. And the next thing I do have is some black pepper. Let me clean this lens up. The lens look like it need to be cleaned up a little bit. Y'all don't, close your eyes, y'all. Let me cl clean this lens, close your eyes. Let me just see if this will help out. Look like it need to be cleaned up. That made it look better. All right, so these are our seasonings, okay? Now, what I am going to season up this shrimp with, because I'm not going to add a whole lot to the shrimp, um, I'm going to add some of this here Yummy's blackened seasoning to the shrimp. And I probably toss in um, some parsley with the shrimp. But let's go ahead and cook some things up, y'all. I got my stove heating up right now, and I'm putting my stove on um, high heat just so I can hurry up and get these shrimps and stuff cooked up real quick. So as the stove is heating up, I'm gonna bring y'all right on over here to this stove while I'm heating things up, okay? Y'all come on with me. I'm trying to do something for y'all new. Cause this is a new year, we got to do new things. All right, so y'all can see this, right? Y'all can see this, right? Beverly, what's up, Beverly? How you doing? How you doing, Beverly? So I got my cast iron skillet on the stove heating up. That's number one. All right, so I want to go ahead and get these meats out of the way. That's what I want to do. Get these meats out of the way. And this is going to be quick, y'all. Quick, 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 and quick. Just trying to find me a tool to use. I got what I need. I do, I do, I do, I do. We're heating up over here. Yes, we is. How, how did y'all enjoy y'all day today? Was everything good? Did everybody enjoy themselves? Did everybody enjoy themselves on the day? Man, YouTube got this new thing now, man, to where you can invite guests on your live. I'm going to play around with this, man, and see how this thing really works. You know what I'm saying? They say you can invite guests on your live. I don't know how this really goes, but I'm going to try and see. Um, Pure, what's up, Pure? Pure say, um, I ate pizza for dinner, so I can watch this being, being cooked for dinner. Yes, come on in and, and watch this with me. I had pasta and some veggies. All right, Nikki, girl, y'all eating good over there. Yeah, that's good and hot right there. All right, so I'm going to start this thing out. I got some unsalted butter, and I'm just going to 
help this bacon and stuff along. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Because y'all know, man, this bacon don't need no help as far as it goes with grease and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It don't. It really don't. So I'm going to go ahead and get this bacon in here. And that's four strips of bacon that I went and diced up. Now with that bacon, I'm also going to add in these sausages. And these are some andouille sausage. And I hope y'all can hear me pretty good over here, man. All right, so I got the andouille sausages in here. I was going to try to do a video, and I was like, man, you know what? Forget a video. I'm going to go live. That way I could talk, y'all. I, I hate doing voiceovers, and the reason I have to do voiceovers because my background be so noisy. Y'all y'all ought to know I got a large family. And when you have a household full of grandkids and adults, you know, everybody is talking, and it's a hard thing to do to try to explain what you got going on when you have a house full. So I just took a, a good time and the moment just to cook this stuff up, just to go live. You feel me? I miss y'all. Nigga say it look good. Come on here. Hey, Aaron, what's going on? You say you about to eat you some sardines? Sardines, hey, and pork and beans. <laughs> Sardine. Tussie, what's up? You got that new Blackstone flat top for Christmas. Oh, so what'd you say? So um keeping, finding recipes to play with my new toy. Hey, look, Tuz, I want to show you something too. For that, you say you got that new Blackstone. Look, whatever you do, don't go nowhere because I want to show you something, Tussie, in the, in the um in a little bit. Don't go nowhere. Please don't go nowhere. I want to show you something in a little bit. Just give me about a few minutes, if you don't mind. Just give me about a few minutes. Give me a few minutes. Please don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. Matter of fact, while that's going, let me see if I can show you right now. Man, that's bacon smell good. Let me see if I can show you this right now while that's going. All right. So don't go no tussy. Now look, let me show you something, tussy. Let me get this up right quick. Now you got that black stone, right? I want to show you something. Do I got light? Light cameras action. Well, anyway. I don't want to move that. Well, look, let me show you this. You probably can see it. Black stone. Look at him. I just seasoned that thing up. Did you, what kind do you have? Cause this one is the, this one is gas. This one, this one is gas, right? You probably got the big boy for outdoors or whatever, but I'm gonna be doing something on that one. Now, another thing is this right here. I'm gonna show you this one too. Hold on. Cause in this box down here, let me show you this. In this box right here, is another griddle that somebody sent me to do a review on right here. So I'm gonna do a review on that one and that one is electric. So you are definitely gonna be seeing a lot of these here um, griddle videos where griddle cooking coming from me in a few. Now, let me put this phone back up here. And I'm telling you, you're gonna see a lot. Yes, you are. We're gonna be cooking on that, baby. And I'm so ready to cook on it. Now, with your Blackstone Tuesday, is it um, is it the outdoor or the indoor one? Outdoor propane.
I like that one over there, man, that gas one, because you could do it in-house, you could do it out-house, and whenever I get ready to go fishing and stuff like that, man, that'll be a good thing for me to take, where I do want to take my grandkids out there to the lake one day, man, where all of us can go fishing, and I could take some hamburgers, some hot dogs, or something like that, and um, cook on the lake, man, and everybody could eat, you know what I'm saying? And definitely, I'm going to be doing a whole lot of stuff on that, some breakfast food. And I'm going to be doing some fillies, some fillies, everything. You know what I'm saying? Some hot hot this and hot that. I'm going to try to put that thing to work, y'all. And I already had seasoned that baby up. So the way I seasoned my griddle up, I went on and I took me some... um vegetable oil and I cranked my oven up on 300 with 450 degrees and I did three coats on my griddle and um she was ready and I'm telling you right now I'm gonna fire that sucker up and I could do a versus the blackstone griddle versus this um other griddle that was sent to me by this corporation like I say, that one is like a electric griddle. All right. Angie in real life. What's up, my sister? What's up, Angie in real life? It's my baby. What's going on, sis? How you doing? This thing says you supposed to know how to bring people on here on live or something, but I don't add a guess. How you add a guess? I don't get it. All right. So right now what I'm going to do I'm going to take these sausages on out, okay? I'm going to move these babies right on up out of here. I'm going to knock these right on out. I'm going to knock these right on out. But I know y'all got things to do, man. I'm going to let that cook just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let that bacon do her thing. Add a guest. How do you add a guest? Send invite link to a guest. Hmm. Well, let me see if I copy that. And then I'm going to go back to my comments. And I'm going to see if I can copy and paste. I'm going to see how this thing works. There ain't no way for me to comment on here, is it? I can't comment on here. That's crazy. I'm trying to look over here and see if I can comment. I don't see a way for me to do it. Let's see, one more time. How can I comment? You don't have a way for me to comment. I literally post a video loaded with cabbage. Man, why is this thing fading out on me? I don't know, this YouTube. This YouTube new stuff, man, got me all baffled. This bacon almost done, y'all. And I'm going to take her out of here right now. So I got this bacon out of here. Now, what I am going to do at this time, I got my sausage done, my bacon is um, done. I'm going to move this off the heat. 
I don't want that on the heat no longer, right? And while y'all are still here with me, I'm going to turn y'all right on around. Come on over here. All right, so I got that skillet off the heat. But what I want y'all to see is how I prepare these shrimp real quick. Okay? All right, so what I'm going to use on these shrimps right quick, see if I can get you down here. You got to come on here with me, work with me. Come on and help me in the kitchen. Let's do it right. So I'm going to take some of this here yummies, black and seasoning. I like this here stuff, man. Yummies, black and seasoning. You know what I'm saying? And if you really want to try some of this yummies, black and seasoning, you see that phone number? Get that phone number, try. And then you can also see this um, address right here where it says yummy taste of New Orleans.com. See, these people are originated out of New Orleans, man. They got some good products. I swear they do. No cap. No cap. They do. All right, so then I want to take some black pepper because I want to taste my shrimp too. And with that being said, I'm not going to put a lot of stuff on this, y'all. I'm not going to put too much, all right? And I think that might be it, but I'm going to put some of this oil on that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just going to give these a nice little toss, okay? I'm not going to do too much with this. This is this is be this will be good. This will be real good right here. So y'all think that's seasoned up pretty good? Come on, now let's go back over here to the stove. All right. So we back at the stove, and I'm gonna take my skillet, put it back on the heat. Let me swing y'all up a little bit. I know y'all like. Hold on, hold on, Doc. Hold on, Doc. You can't leave us stranded like this. We need to see what's going on. I fully understand. I fully understand. All right. So we got that going on with the skillet. I got my heat up a little bit. You don't have to be that high. So I did turn it down to like a medium. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't have to have this that high to cook these shrimp. So with these shrimps, these are going to cook for at least around about a good two minutes per side. Two minutes per side. That's all we want. Two minutes per side. Two minutes per side. Let her get some of that bacon flavor, that sausage flavor on her. And we probably don't even go to full two minutes. So I'm setting my timer right now for around about a good two minutes, okay? So we got that going. Now, while we have that going, I'm just going to look in here and see if I got me some chicken broth. And if I ain't got no chicken broth, I'm going to have to deal with something else. Well, where's my chicken broth, baby? Yeah. Come on in the room. You got it. Come on in the room. I got my people on YouTube with me. Boy, we cooking this thing tonight. Cast iron skillets are rust. You say your cast iron skill is a rust and suggest I have like three of them. Okay, what you could do now, look here. All you have to do to get those cast iron skillets back, back to life, I want you to go ahead, man, and just clean them up real good. Clean them up real good with some soapy water. Dry them down. 
Once you dry them down, take you some chicken grease, fat back grease, bacon grease, any kind of grease. Set your oven to 450 degrees. Season it one time inside and out. Season your pan inside and out. Put it in the oven. Let it sit in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. After 10 to 15 minutes, take it out. Season that baby up again. Let it go and sit in there for another 10 to 15 minutes. Now, I'm telling you now, it's going to smoke your house up. It really is going to smoke your house up. So open up you some windows. Now, your third chance. Now, that's my two minutes. Now, your third chance, what you do is you season it up, but then turn that skillet upside down and let it cook. Well, let it season up for about 15 minutes. After that, you should be good. Now, whenever you do cook with your cast iron skillets, whatever you do, don't submerge it in water. Don't put it in the dishwasher. You just wipe that baby out if you can. And if you had to clean up some of the bits that's in there, take you some kosher salt along with um, a, a rag. Don't never use no Brillo pads or nothing like that on your cast iron. Just take that salt and take a rag or a napkin and that, that salt would be um, your abrasive agent that would scrape up some of the stuff that's at the bottom. Now, after you do that, you season it up with some grease or whatever the case may be, and you store that baby away. Okay? You store that baby away. I love me some cast irons. I am not going to lie to you. That's my thing. I love to cook with some cast iron. So we got another two minutes on this side right here, y'all. Two minutes is all we're going to cook with. Two minutes. Fine up. These shrimp almost, they ready, man. I'm just going to go ahead and get them out of the way. almost ready to put this cabbage in the pan this is going to be a quick 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 you say i only use crisco you only use crisco to season yours up hey look i'm gonna tell you something else you could use too now you got to go old school with this y'all let me see if i can pull her out now some of y'all might be scared of this but I'm going to tell you right now, get over your fears. Get over your fears. Use this. Y'all need to learn how to start cooking with this, too. I know some people out there saying, hey, I can't cook with that, man. High blood pressure. That's what's wrong with black people and all that. Man, forget all about that, man. This right here, this right here, man, will change your whole life. This will change your cooking style and everything. You understand what I'm saying? And you can season your pans up with that, too. You can. Y'all look here. I love to cook. I ain't gonna lie. I love to cook, man. This this what I do ain't no gimmick. It might be a gimmick to other people, but this ain't no gimmick for me. I just love cooking like this, man. And I'm just gonna be plain Jane with y'all. I'm an old school cook, and that's all I know. That's right, Nikki. Old school. You better say so. You better say so. Yeah, you grew up on Crisco. These right here about to come on up out. Yeah, they about to come on up out of here. Move these right now. Right now. Get on up out of this gear, let Get on up out of this skillet. Now, what I want to do, put me some butter in there. I want some butter in there, okay? And I want me just a little bit of olive oil, just a little smidget, all right? Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my onions and bell peppers, all right? I like these pie pans, y'all. Y'all, I live by these pie pans. 
if y'all are making pies, man, and you got leftover pie pans, don't throw them in the trash. I'm telling you, if you don't want your pie pan, mail them to me. Send them babies to me. I'll put them to good use. Sound like an old school song. Come on here. How about we do it this way? How about we do it this way? Check this one out. Are you ready to hear what I'm about to say about these sweet peppers? <laughs> Along with the onions and also the butter that's in this here pan uh, that's rendering this flavor from at the bottom. Uh, and we can't forget about the olive oil. Uh, it makes everything so right. Okay, y'all, I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. <laughs> but y'all here with me, y'all, come on here. Y'all y'all with me now, y'all with me. It's something about soul food that, that brings everybody together. Huh? No matter where you come from, huh? no matter what neck of the woods you were raised on, huh? when you speak about soul food, huh? it makes you want to say, mmm, good, huh? Okay, all right, that's enough, y'all. That's enough, that's enough. Y'all gonna make me want to get ready to go to church. You understand what I'm saying? But sometime or another in life, you got to learn how to have fun. You got to learn just how to have fun. And what's wrong these days, a lot of people, man, really don't know how to have fun. You know what I mean? So that's just me, y'all. Can you smell? I can smell, I could just smell. Look, happy, happy and married. Look here. You know how we could become billionaires? Me and you. Listen to me and you. This is me and you. Me and you can become billionaires if we develop a way for smell of vision If we could develop a way with people in Australia, New Zealand, New Zealand, <laughs> if people all over the world could just smell what you cooking in your home, we'd be rich. We'd be rich. We wouldn't have to work no more. <laughs> we wouldn't have to work no more. I'm telling you the honest God truth. These peppers and onions is about done, y'all. They're about done. All right? They're about done. I'm going to go ahead and just move these over to the side because I don't want them. I still want, want these to hold their integrity. You know what I'm saying? I still want them to hold their integrity. So I'm going to take these right on out. And it don't take that long to cook these, man. You know what I'm saying? It really don't. So you don't have to cook these down to where they all soggy and all the other kind of stuff. Then <laughs> to me, that ain't no good. But that smell, that's all you want is that aroma. Good God almighty, boy. These ready for some cheese steaks, some Philly cheese steaks, some some chicken cheese steaks, some salmon cheese steaks. Well, that might be a thing to do right there, to do a um salmon cheese steak Philly on them on that griddle. Boy, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Yes, Lord. Don't get me started. So now what we're gonna do? We got our bam cabbage. And like I said, that's a half. Get her on up in there. Okay? Now, we got the cabbage in here. Now, since we got our cabbage in there, I want to go ahead and take me just the a little bit of butter. I just want a little bit. So I'm going to make a little room right there. I want just a little bit of butter. Okay? And while that butter is melting, my chicken broth. All right, I got some chicken broth in this here container, y'all. This chicken broth, I'm not going to put a lot because... I just want this cabbage to sweat just a little bit. You see what I'm saying? You see how I'm doing this? Because you got to understand, the cabbage makes its own water. This is fried cabbage, not steamed cabbage. 
Okay? So it makes its own water. So now what I want to do is just move some things around just a little bit. And I'm not going to try to agitate this cabbage as much. Because the more I agitate it, the less this baby is going to cook. But what I am going to do is take my seasonings and just go ahead and just do the dang thing. But I'm going to be judging this now. I ain't going to go overboard. I don't want to do that. I don't want to go overboard. Yes, I love seasonings, but I don't want to go overboard now. Now, what you could do as far as your seasonings go, you could use your eyes. Let your eyes tell you when enough is enough. I always say, man, listen to your ancestors. Because when you listen to your ancestors, they will not steer you wrong. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm telling y'all something right now, man. Next month, February, is going to be Black History Month. And one thing that we should do, man, is um, let our kids know that Black History Month is important. And the reason why Black History Month is important because that's a time for us to reflect on where we come from, who we are, what our ancestors had to go through so you know uh, and so you can explain to them how we got to be where we are on today. You know what I'm saying? So during that time, man, just go ahead and explain to your children about the principles of soul food, how soul food came about, how our people really had to go and cook for the slave masters and their family, and how we had to take the scraps and basically survive off the scraps, and how peas came about, how okra came about, how yams came about. I didn't say sweet potatoes. I said yams. Because there was a lot of food that we're eating today that came from, came from Africa. You understand what I'm saying? Every day is Black History Month. You better say it, Danny. You better say it. Every day is. And it should be. It should be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It really is. Every day is Black History Month. And we know our kids got our pads. You know how I know we our kids got our pads? Because we bought it for them. <laughs> our pad, man, is like a silencer. We give it to the kids so that they could be quiet. But we need to teach them something. We need to teach them, man, the importance of family structure. We need to teach them the importance of our history. Because... If we have a lost history, we're going to have some dying people. Let them know, man, about Marcus Garvey, W.E.B. Du Bois. You understand? Let them know about um, all the great inventors, the scientists, the doctors. Teach them about their great-great-grandmother, their great-grandfather. Teach them about their uncle, their aunties. You know what I'm saying? Because some of our people who are living today were inspiration to us. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here cooking cabbage and talking. Y'all got to forgive me. All right. Now, let me just ask y'all this question while y'all listening to me real quick, because I'm going to move on. All right. How many of y'all right now can name at least five people that's in the entertainment business, whether they are athletes, um, actors, or actresses, um, that have pretty much inspired you in so many ways. If you can name right now, just name a few people that's in the entertainment business, whether they are um, sports figures or whatever the case may be, tell me who inspired you. Just name two people that inspired you one way or another.
Yes, sir. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this business right here. I'm going to lower my heat down just a little bit, and I'm going to introduce these peppers and onions. Okay? And what I'm not going to do is introduce these shrimps, but I want to introduce the sausage and the bacon. And the reason why I don't want to introduce the shrimp because... Now, let me just ask y'all a question. What's the real reason why I do not want to introduce the shrimp to this here skillet? Somebody answer that question for me. Answer that question for me. What's the real reason why I do not want to introduce these shrimps to this here skillet? Hey, August. Somebody say overcooked. Miss Jones say overcooked. And Charles say um, so they won't overcook. So they won't get, what's that, going to get rubbery. They cook fast. Overcooked and chewy. Come on here, y'all. Come on, that's what I'm talking about. See, y'all on game. Y'all on game. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all on game. Now, y'all know that people cover these up, right? They, they put a cover on it. And I even did a few of these myself, and I put a cover on it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this thing float on. Let me taste this. Wow. 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 Mmm. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't even play with me. Wow. And I love it with that bite, but you got that bite to it too. Now, I'm gonna ask y'all a question. And I wanna see how many of y'all gonna respond to this question. I wanna see how many of y'all gonna respond to this question. Listen. How many of you add sugar to your cabbage? How many of you add sugar to your cabbage? If you add sugar to your cabbage, say, I, or just say, no. Just say yes or no. If you add sugar to your cabbage, say yes. And if you add, if you don't add sugar to your cabbage, say no. How many of you guys add sugar to your cabbage. I have no brown sugar. I have before. Strawberry say no. Alan say no. Sometimes I made this before. Not with shrimp. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just a little. Okay. Now No, yes, no, never heard of that. Never heard of adding sugar. Okay, let me share. Let me share something with y'all real quick. Let me share something with you. If you want some mean cabbage, if you want some mean cabbage, add you some sugar to it. <laughs> y'all think I'm joking? If you want some mean cabbage. And you're using any kind of fat with a killer seasoning combination. Just go to your cabinet. Oh, Lord, come on back here. I'm about to tilt you over. But just go to your cabinet and get you about a teaspoon of sugar. Sprinkle it. And watch the magic happen. 
And I know that some people say, oh, that is so gross. Oh, my God. He added sugar to the dish. He just ruined it. Oh, my God. I'll never eat. Man, stop playing. Stop playing. Do you know that this sugar will tell the tartness of your cabbage, see you later? You got to go because you don't belong here. But when you add that just a little amount of sugar to that cabbage, it brings out a glow to your cabbage, to any kind of greens. I even add sugar to my greens. I add sugar to my string beans. I add sugar to my peas. I add sugar to my corn. I damn near add sugar to everything. I add sugar to love. I add sugar to caring. But let me try. OMG. Mm. My God. My God. My God. Mm. Jesus. See? Mm. Man. Man. Y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all, y'all got to listen to me what I'm about to say. Y'all listen to what I'm about to say. This is, the taste is just unbelievable. And like I said, just a little bit of that beef chicken broth works. Just a dab. You don't have to smurge your, your cabbage in that chicken broth because if you do, you're steaming your cabbage. You're not frying it, right? And I don't have a lid on top. The reason being, because I want some of the um, water to evaporate. But once you cover it up, only thing you're going to do is you're going to steam your cabbage. Yes, I get it. Your cabbage is going to cook quicker. It is. But do you not see that steam already? As long as you got steam coming from this pan and the heat is in that pan, this cabbage is cooking, y'all. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Huh? Y'all hear what I'm saying? Y'all hear what I'm saying? Please hear what I'm talking about. And I don't have my heat up too high. I got my heat right here on medium low, almost, right? I got it on a four. If y'all have y'all's, have numbers on yours, you'll have like two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? I got mine on four right now, right? Because I don't want to overcook this. I want these seasonings to get all up in this here cabbage. Look at that, man. Look at man. Woo! Woo! Help me. Help me. Help me. Hey, y'all, y'all got to love cooking, man. I'm telling you something right now. If somebody don't like cooking, listen, listen. If you do not cook, I want to help somebody. If you do not cook and you want to ooh and awe ah somebody, try this recipe. Matter of fact, forget all about that. If you want to ooh and awe ah anybody, try any of my recipes that's on my YouTube channel. You feel me? Just try them. Y'all look, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I'm gonna be honest with you. It's good. The recipes are good. Lord have mercy. The ancestors are on point. They are on point. First, I'd like to thank God. Then I want to thank the ancestors. Hot glory. Let it be known that if it was not for the ancestors, none of this would happen. If it was not for my mama, God bless her soul. Louise, I love you, baby. That woman could cook. And my mama was blind, too. And that woman can get in that kitchen, man, and ooh, cook some stuff up. Now, since y'all been here, 
The only utensil I've been using <laughs> is these tongs. <laughs> That's all I've been using to cook this with is these tongs. Ain't that something? That's all I've been using is these tongs. That's all you need. You don't need a lot of stuff. And my fingers cook the heart. I feel good. No, I just can't get enough of this. Now, at this point, the seasoning is all up and through here right now. Because with this skillet, having that bacon flavor, having that sausage flavor, along with that blackened seasoning that came off of that, those shrimps, everything came together. Nigga, if you can't eat the bacon, don't worry about it. Fix it without the bacon. Trust and believe me. It'll still work for you. It'll still work for you. Trust me. If you can't eat the bacon, it'll still work for you. A lot of people don't eat pork, but you can substitute for turkey. You can substitute for beef sausage, beef turkey, um, bacon, whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? And they do have some good beef products that's out here. You know? And I'm not against anybody who choose not to eat pork. But I just hope you guys aren't against me because I love me some pork. You know what I'm saying? I do. I love me some pork, man. Say, where's the shrimp? The shrimp is right over here to the side. I'm not ready for the shrimp yet. The reason being is because if I put the shrimp in now, my shrimp are overcooked like crazy. And I ain't about that tough, tough shrimp life. I like having my shrimp just right. You feel me? So the shrimp already got flavor to them and we let them cook two minutes per side. So basically they already done. They already done. And don't worry about the shrimp. No, no, you can't say they're getting real cold. No, 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 don't, don't, no. The shrimp ain't getting real cold. I'm trust and believe me. Trust and believe me, Michael. You hang with me, we're going to go places, baby. You, Michael, you hang with me, we're going to go places. Trust me, Michael. Trust me. I, I done rode this ship too long. If you hang with me, Michael, we're going to go places. So hang in there with me, buddy. I got you. Just watch the process. Trust me. And this is in real time. This ain't no play play right now. This is real time right here. So if y'all ever want to try this recipe at home, I done basically showed you all the ingredients that I use. Okay? Ray, why are you up so late? Because, Angie, I go to bed at 1 o'clock. I go to bed at one o'clock, Angie. You know what I'm saying? And it is what's crazy though, Angie, is that that's every night. That's every night. I go to bed at one o'clock at every night. All right, so my cabbage should be fitting right. Let me see. Yeah. 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 I like that because I like my cabbage to still have a like a little bite to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I like my cabbage. It still have a little bite to it. And it's not mushy. It's not mushy. You feel me? You can overcook your cabbage doing this. You know what I'm saying? You really can overcook your cabbage by doing this. And that's the reason why I micromanage my cabbage. And I keep my fingers going. Pot to Man. Okay. Here we go. We got the shrimp going in right now. Now, Mike, I want you to listen. This for you, Mike. Mike, this is for you. There's only 12 shrimp. I don't need a pot full of shrimp. 
Because it's only for two people. This is done. So I'm finna cut the pot off right now. Look, stove is off. Stove is off. And I'm finna go ahead and plate this baby up. Let me plate her up, baby. Don't y'all go nowhere. Let me get off that. Y'all hold on. Look at these seasonings right quick. Get a vibe and feel of what I use. Okay? Get a vibe and feel of what I use. And this right here, if you can see that, obey. And if y'all want to, take a screenshot real quick. Screenshot. If you can see it. All right? That's blackened seasoning. That's obey. Screenshot that. That's all I use right there. Let me grab, grab me a plate. I got to plate this baby up. We ain't going fancy. Y'all hold on. I'm all the way in another room. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. I know that Jesus is my doctor. And if he's not on my prescription, he gives me all of my medicine in the room, in the room. There is love in the room. I'm knocking over my can my light got told my love in the room. Did y'all screenshot that? Huh? All right. So y'all, y'all, I hope y'all got it now. Cause I'm gonna move it to the side. Hope y'all got it. I know Jesus is my doctor. And he filled out all of my prescriptions. He gives me all, I'm trying to turn this thing around, all my medicine in the room. Yes, sir. That'll be, a, see that right there is enough right here, man, for another one right here. See that? That's enough for another one right there. So, I got Tricolored peppers, another half a cabbage. I got some more shrimp, and I do have some more sausage and bacon, and I have another onion over there. So if I wanted to cook this again, man, I'm putting all that in the freezer. You know what I'm saying? Just put it in the freezer. Come on, y'all. You feel me? You heard me? All right, so let's do this up. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. I know Jesus. Let me get me a pot holder. Because I want to put this pot on my cabinet. I mean, not on my cabinet, but on my countertop. But I need a pot holder down here. It ain't about to try to destroy that. But let me just get y'all a little glimpse of this real quick. Just a little glimpy. Now tell me what y'all think. Shrimp fried cabbage. Shrimp fried cabbage. What y'all think? Do it look good? Do it look good? You say I forgot the garlic? Mike. I want to tell you, Mike, you are definitely paying attention, Mike. Mike, you are paying attention. You bet, Mike, you deserve an A in class. Mike, you deserve an A in class. Give him an A, because, Mike, you are on it. That's what I'm talking about. See, this is what I like when you come, come on here live, and people are really paying attention, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Mike, you the, you the man, brother. You the man. But let's plate this baby up. Mike, you are on it, baby. You paying attention. Thank you so much, Mike. You gonna eat your cornbread? I like that, man. Mike just made my whole freaking night because he paying attention, man. I like that, man. That's what I'm talking about. Love in the room. Plate this baby up, Ray Ray. Love in the room. I know Jesus. Jesus is my doctor. And he fills out all of my prescription. He gives me all of my medicine in the room, in the room. Now, if you serve this up, man, at any type of function, I don't care what it be, Sunday, Sunday dinner, church dinner, football game, tailgate, uh, work function, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be the talk of the town. My man Mike is on it. So I did forgot to put my garlic in here. But it's still good. Mike gets an A in class, but so he's paying attention. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. And I know Jesus. Jesus is my doctor. And he fills out all of my prescription. Well, he gives me all of my medicine in the room. In the room. Whoa. Take it to Jesus in the room. Whatever your problems might be in the room. I know Jesus is my doctor. And he fills out all of my prescription. That's it, y'all. It's time to eat. There we go. Shrimp fried cabbage. Simple, plain Jane, easy, and it was ready to rock and roll. You feel me? Ready to rock and roll. Now, with that being said, let me partake into this here. I've already been partaking Killing the cabbage. Killing the cabbage. Destroying the cabbage. Devouring. Devour. Devour. Devouring. How you say it? Let me fix um. Let me fix my wife a plate. Come on, Jesus. Jesus is. My doctor and he feels out all of my mm. rice would be awesome. You can eat this just like it is. Whatever you want to eat it with, you could definitely eat it with whatever you would like to eat it with. There is no limit to what you want to do. Stress and capacity in the building that my sister. Hey, baby. How you doing? Stress to capacity in the building. I know Jesus. Ooh. Somebody need to tell me what's, what's, what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Look here. Let me just um do this real quick. 
Do this real quick. That's good. And get you some shrimp on here, Sheree. Because I'll be stingy and keep all the shrimp to myself. I ain't gonna lie. There you go. Lord have mercy, that was good. And I couldn't even take a picture of the plate. Let me take a picture of this, y'all. Look here, I got to go. I'm gonna, before I leave, let's do this. Let's do this. Before I leave, let's do this. Because I got to clean this stuff up real quick. I want to first off say thank y'all so much, man, for checking out this here um, live cook. Please, I'm just asking if y'all can, man, go over and watch the video again and write down some of the um, ingredients. And just like Mike said, I did forget to put the garlic in it. I got so happy because I was with you guys that I forgot to put my garlic in it. But even without the garlic, it's still good, all right? And if you can see this um, shrimp fried cabbage came out pretty good and it wasn't, it didn't take much to fix it up, you know what I'm saying? It didn't take much to do or whatever the case. I would just say, man, for any and everybody, please get in the kitchen and cook. Just get in the kitchen and cook. Do things that you would like doing. And I'm telling you right now, if you could just get in that kitchen, man, and just prepare a meal for your family, prepare, prepare a meal for your significant other, and just watch the inspiration in their face. Sometimes, man, a meal can bring people up and... That's what we need to do. We need to heal heal folks. How can we do that? By putting good food in their body. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how we can do this, y'all. Now, at the end of all my videos, let me ask this question. What do I say at the end of all of my videos? Who could tell me what I say at the, all, at the end of all my videos? I'm not finna end right now, but I just want to find out. At the end of all my videos, what do I say? Three hot takes. Okay. Let me see. What do I say at the end of all my videos? Come on, Jesus. That song is in my head. Jesus is my doctor. This recipe sounds so good. You better say it, Debbie. You better say it, Lily. There's a Lily. Mm, it's in the valley. Bright as the morning star, there's a lily in the valley. Bright as the morning star, there's a lily in the valley. Bright as the morning star, amen, amen. Amen. Let me tell y'all, there's only one Ray Mac. <laughs> there's only one Ray Mac. You understand what I'm saying? There's only one Ray Mac. So when I do come on here, y'all, we come to have a good time. We come to play. We come to joke. We come to have fun. But then again, we got to get serious too. So in this world of ours, we know, man, that there are some strange, th strange things going on. Um, we just got to learn how to overcome a lot of these strange, strange things or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? So I would just tell y'all, man, to just go out and love on somebody. We ain't got no time for no hatred. We ain't got no time for no malices or malice envies or whatever the case may be. We don't even have time for junk. So if junk comes up out of the hole and peeks his head out of the corner, do like you used to do like you used to do when you see people at the fair when they had this little game and a little weasel or something pokes his head out. Try to hammer that thing back down. Tell junk man, we ain't got time. We ain't got time for no games. So I just want to tell y'all this, man. Be happy and always stay happy. Love and not hate. 
love somebody and hate nobody. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's what it should always be about. It should always be about love. Regardless of what people say to, say to us, regardless of how people feel about us, regardless of what they even think about us. So what if they don't like you? As long as you love yourself, that's the only thing that matters. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like me, but do you think I care what people say about me? It don't matter nothing. As long as I love me, that's the only thing that matters. So I want each and everybody to first do me a favor. Have joy. Keep joy in your life. And the acronym for joy is this. J stands for Jesus. Keep Jesus first and foremost. The O stands for others. Help others. Whenever you're going to need help, you're going to cry for help and somebody's going to come to your rescue. So learn how to help others. And the Y stands for you, love you, and never abandon yourself. Take care of yourself, physically, mentally, and spiritually, and treat yourself to a good time. You just can't sit at home and be bored all to death all the days of your life. Get out and do something, all right? I love each and every one of y'all, man, but do me a favor now. This right here will help. Share these videos with some of your family and friends. You feel me? Try out some of my recipes. One thing that I want to start doing is if people try my recipes and they post these pictures on social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, I'm going to take these photos and give these people a shout out who created who or who creates my recipes. You understand what I'm saying? Because if they're bold enough to get into their kitchen and make these recipes, then I should be bold enough to post their recipes on my videos and post their photos on my videos and just say thank you to the people who really gave them a try. But I also want to tell y'all thank you as well. I love y'all, man. All right? I love y'all. No cap. So be good. Mwah. Thank you so much, man. I'm hoping we could do this again. But look, drive by, drive by. Mmm, shrimp fried cabbage. Jesus, good God. Good God. Good God. Yes, Lord. All right, so I'm out of here, y'all. That's enough of this foolishness I've been doing. All right, y'all, be good. Be good. And if you don't know how to be good, be good at being good, okay? I'm out of here. Peace. Now I got to see how I turn this thing off. I forgot how to turn the thing off. Lord have mercy, I need you.